I'm Dr. Flux and today is an exciting day because we're talking about this. This right here is the glass construct. Yes, the legendary blaster. For those of you who do not know about this blaster, this is an iconic blaster that basically, oh man, <laughs> I'm gonna try to articulate what all went into this and um, it's truly amazing. So I'm just gonna have to run down, how did I get this thing? How is this in my possession? Many of you who know who PDK Films is or Paul Kowski, uh, we'll know that this is a blaster that is featured in a lot of his iconic videos, or they're kind of like movies at this point. For those of you who have been around Nerf a little bit, we'll know there is a ton of stuff going on right here. This, There are many blasters here. To the untrained eye, you probably think, wow, that's just an overpriced toy, and I don't understand what I'm looking at. But I can tell you to the trained eye, and to someone who's been around this hobby for years, this is truly amazing. Okay guys, this blaster right here is by far the most expensive one that we're gonna open today for a total of $2,700.50. Let's crack her open. Oh yeah. So as you can see, this is no ordinary Nerf blaster. It's actually three blasters combined with a ton of work put into it. We've actually used this blaster in quite a few of our videos. This is our first time opening it up. Due to the nature of this, I just had to break it down for you guys and show you a little bit of what went into this blaster. So I have the whole breakdown in this letter that came with the blaster. I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but also just break it down for you guys real quick. 145 hours of work at $11.50 an hour for a total of $1,667.50, plus $75 in shipping for a grand total of two $2,700.50. Now, was that worth it? I would say yes, because this is a one of a kind of blaster that I've used in a lot of my videos. Eventually, I'll sell it. It's super sick, it lights up, and she's just a beautiful blaster. We keep it in this nice case because she's so valuable. And if you've been making Nerf videos as long as I have, you gotta have some prize Nerf blasters such as this. So we're gonna slap a battery in this bad boy and rip a little firing test. All right, guys, we're gonna get the POV firing test of this one so that you can see all the beautiful lights up here. All ready to go, here we go. Woo. The main thing I wanna talk about that really shows how, how crazy this build is, is everything you see here that is clear, all the clear parts. Now the clear parts are kinda of how it got its name, the glass construct. Now what these are are custom, these are custom parts that are basically handmade. These parts were casted and poured from clear resin so that you can put LEDs in them and they glow. So all this clear stuff is all custom work. This blaster is actually what's called an integration where it takes multiple pieces of different blasters fused together with countless hours of sanding, epoxy work, body work, and just getting this thing to truly look like glass. And I can tell you from holding this thing, it is smooth as glass. It's truly phenomenal. I'm just blown away at this thing. The reason why I'm so excited with this is because I build a lot of different blasters, as you can see. Now, for me to point at something and say, yeah, I built that, that's a $500 blaster. That over there, that's a $1,000 blaster. That's all well, but I've never sold something for a price tag of, you know, I, I've seen transactions of something over $500, $600. You know, I have seen that, but $2,700? That is mind blowing. Do I believe this is worth $2,700? I do, and I'll tell you why. As we can see in this video where Paul basically broke down this build, he basically explained why it's worth that price tag. When you sit here and you work on something by hand and build it piece by piece for months on end, yeah, it really gets very expensive to pay for that labor, not to mention the cost of materials and then everything you see here. This right here, the end product, the glass construct, is a piece of art. This is something you can't go to the store and buy. This is a one of a kind item that across the entire world, it holds great value. And that's why it's so amazing for me to have this thing. I wanna thank Paul from PDK Films for sending this to me. Uh, Paul's a great friend of mine and it's just, it's, when I got this in the mail, I just, my jaw dropped, it hit the floor, I had no, <laughs> he said he was sending me a gift, but I had no idea, like I just could not wrap my head around receiving this amazing iconic blaster. This is probably, you know, I'm sure I'm going to get a few comments in the comment section, but I, I believe this is one of the most iconic, beautiful, amazing builds. I know we have some really amazing people in the community that do some truly truly beautiful integration work but this has got to be one of the best one of the best at least anything that i've ever held 
And if that's not enough, this blaster not only is beautiful and a one-of-a-kind item, but it's actually been in multiple movies. You know, this thing is, <laughs> I kind of wish Paul signed it, cause like, then it, I don't know. It, it is a piece of art. I wish the original creator signed it because or maybe he did. There's a chance that's signed on the inside. I, I, there are a hundred, there's like 150 hours of live stream. I went through a lot of them. I couldn't sit here and watch 150 hours of live stream. So I did skip around and kind of checked out the build process. It looks exactly how I figured it. A lot of cutting, a lot of sanding, a lot of sanding, 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 sanding. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's how you get this glass look. You have to keep sanding it and go down to a finer grit, finer grit. You know, you're basically polishing the thing. You know, that's, that's how you get this shine. Like, look at that thing. So I went through a lot of it. I can see why this price tag is what it is. I think it's justified. There are custom parts here you can't get anywhere. I mean, look at this Magwell. This is this is all custom builds. This case here, this is all custom. You can't buy any of this stuff. And here it all is. It's all here in a complete, beautiful blaster, one of a kind. I'm gonna actually build a special acrylic glass case for this thing. Possibly put, you know, blue LEDs shooting through it so it looks like ice, frost it. You know, this thing's getting a beautiful mount on the side of the wall and uh, that's where it will live. I don't know if I'll actually run this thing in any wars. It, it is almost invaluable. Like I can't even put a price on it. Yes, PDK Films purchased this for videos at you know $2,700 or so, but now I believe it's worth more. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think I'm wrong or right? I know many of you probably can't fathom purchasing a blaster for $2,700. So let me know in the comment section. Is that insane? or is it justified? So I have a few notes here that were given to me by the creator, so let's go ahead and run through it. Essentially, it kind of talks about all the parts that are in here. We got, uh, you know, DevCon, you got seven tubes used. DevCon is a two-part epoxy, and that stuff is not cheap, so going through seven tubes, I mean, that's, it's gotta be like, you know, five, 10 bucks a tube, so that right there could be at least 50 bucks. Uh, we have a bonded Rapid Strike Raven Zeus. So we got three blasters. You know, Rapid Strikes, not too expensive, but if you buy them brand new, they're like 35, 40 bucks. Ravens, they can, who knows how much they are now because of, uh, they're, not, they're out of print and they're very sought after. I've seen Ravens sell for like 60, $70. Uh, Zeus's, very solid rival blaster. They can go upwards around 50, 60 bucks. Uh, epoxy Sculpt and Spot Putty used for shape. We got custom cast windows, which I showed you. Those are the 180 motor covers and pusher cover. Custom cast flared magwell. So that's that actual special magwell. All the exposed parts from the rapid strike cast in crystal clear, set one of one. He's saying he only made one, that's it. You know, we got Black Raven parts cast in crystal clear, set two of two. Duplicolor color adhesive uh, pro motor. So he's yeah, paints, we got black primer. We have Montana Gold Blue. Okay, so more paints. Yeah, so use good paints. You know, we're looking at automotive paints here. Citadel Black for details. We got 40K paints. We know that stuff's liquid gold. 2K clear coat uh, applied with a spray gun. Good application. Worker clear barrel. Turquoise LEDs added 63 of them. So, wow. 10 ohm uh, resistors in parallel. 20 watt, five ohm. Okay, so he's got actual sound electrical work going on in here. This is probably to protect the LEDs and make sure that everything's running safely. We got, uh, okay, so we got switch. We got switch for the LEDs. Uh, XT30 connectors for the LEDs and voltmeter switch. So all that's in there. Blue voltmeter. Up here, we actually have the button for the voltmeter. And as you can see, it displays on the back. Really nice. So not only is it beautiful, but it's also safe. So you can protect your battery by making sure everything is running safely. NKK switches, push button switch. Okay, so that's the switches. Trackstar, uh, blah, blah, blah. We got LiPo. I don't think, oh, so mine didn't come with a LiPo, so yeah, scratch that. Uh, Dean's connector for the cage. Triple XP 180s with extended shafts. So pretty awesome motors. 16 gauge rewire, so we got that thick wire in there. A little bit of overkill, but it's fine. This thing's built like a tank now. Triple Omron uh, 21 amp switches, good and unique. Holographic serial number label, 014. 
So this is his 14th build. So it shows the total project hours are at 145 hours. Nuts. And to be honest, oh man, I, it'd probably take me longer than that. <laughs> There's so much work here. This is just crazy. So that pretty much summarizes this build, the Glass Construct, an iconic blaster that is now in the possession of Flux Labs. This thing is gonna stay here for quite some time. It's gonna be uh, pretty hard for me to let go of this thing. Got to pry it from my cold dead hands because this thing is just beautiful, phenomenal, epic. Oh yeah, so satisfying. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this build. I know in this day and age, it's hard to really understand the price of goods and services because we have so much abundance of it. You can go to a store and buy a blaster, but is that blaster the same as something like, you know, the N90 over here that Valor put hundreds of hours into, or, you know, something like this Spring Thunder, which designer sat and, you know, GDOB made the files and did all the engineering, and then it comes to someone like me, and then I build it. like. How do you put a price on that? It's just nuts, this sheer amount of time and energy that goes into some of these builds. So when I look at this, I can, I can clearly see it. I wanna know if all of you watching this video, can you see what I'm talking about? I mean, it's pretty nuts to hand build something like this. Truly skillful. As always, I wanna thank you for watching today's video. Be safe and happy foam flinging. <laughs>